Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this lesson, you will learn how to generate and print employee W-2s and your company W-3 in Sage 50 Accounting. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to print employee W-2s and your company W-3 using the Payroll Tax Form Selector. After the end of each payroll year, in January, you must print and distribute W-2s to your employees so they can file their federal and state taxes. W-2s should be printed on plain, four-part perforated paper. IRS-approved W-2 forms can be purchased through Sage 50 Forms or from your local office supply store. You should wait to print W-2s until at least the last half of December to ensure you have the January Payroll Solutions Update installed. The January Payroll Solutions Update will be available at the end of each year in mid to late December. This year-end Payroll Solutions Update provides the new federal, state, and some local formulas for the upcoming payroll year. It may also include late and retroactive changes to current year tax formulas, and it provides access to the year-end tax forms such as W-2s, 1099s, and Form 940. For instructions on locating and installing the year-end payroll solutions update, please view the short lesson entitled Installing the Payroll Solutions Update included in the year-end center. Once the January Payroll Solutions Update is installed, you will be ready to generate your W-2s. Now you understand when you can begin processing W-2s, so let's walk through the process. From the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Forms icon, and then select Federal Forms from the drop-down menu. The system will automatically check for recent tax form updates before opening the selector window. This occurs every time you access the Payroll Tax Form Selector. If updates are found, they will be automatically downloaded and installed on your system. After the Forms Update process is complete, the Payroll Tax Form Selector is displayed. On the Payroll Tax Form Selector window, select Federal as the form type and select the W-2, W-3 from the available forms list. In the Select Filing Period section, choose the year for which W-2s will be printed. In the Select Employees for W-2s section, the default is to print for all employees. But you can choose to print W-2s for a range of employees as well. And in some circumstances, you may also choose to print for a single employee. We will continue with All. Let's click OK. The W-2 Setup Wizard will display. On the first page of the wizard, you are given the opportunity to take a test drive of the W-2 process to see what the W-2s will look like when printed without actually saving any data. This is an excellent opportunity to confirm the accuracy of your W-2s and make any needed corrections prior to actually filing them. It is always a good idea to take an early test drive first before actually processing your W-2s. These options will display only if you have not yet processed W-2s for the current filing year. For this demonstration, we will leave it set to the third option to start processing W-2s. Click Next. On the Company FEIN page, verify your company's federal employer identification number. It's very important that this number is correct as it will be verified against your company name by the taxing authorities and it is printed on all W-2s and W-3 included during this process. If this number is incorrect, cancel the wizard and go to the Maintain Company Information window. Update the FEIN at the Federal Employer ID field and then rerun the W-2 wizard. Let's click Next. Now the Multiple Payroll Data Files page is displayed. If you will be filing payroll forms for more than one Sage 50 company that uses the same Federal Employer ID number, select the first option. This option will combine the multiple payroll filings into one batch. 
For more information, please click the Help icon and read about the multiple file merge process. Otherwise, select No, I use a single payroll data file, and click Next. On the Company Information page, most of the Company Information fields will be populated based on the information entered in the Maintain Company Information window. Ensure that the information is correct. The contact should be the authorized agent who is responsible for the payroll information printed on the W-2s. When finished, click Next. On the Tax Preparer Type page, there are two filer types you can choose from. Select I am filing for my own company employer if the information printed on the forms will be for your own company and will not include any preparer information. Select I am a third party paid tax preparer if you are a paid preparer working for a different company. You will be taken to an additional page to enter information about your company that will be used on the forms for sections required to be filled out by paid tax preparers. On the State and Local Tax Items page, confirm that the State and Local Tax Account numbers are correct and formatted properly. Also verify that any W-2 names for local taxes are correct. Click the Edit button to make any changes. If any tax account number is not formatted properly, it will be highlighted in red and you will not be able to continue without correcting it. Click the Edit button to make corrections. At any time, click the Help icon for additional information. Please note, making corrections here will not update your company information. If you want the corrections to be permanent, you must also make the changes in the Company Information window. Let's click Next. Now the Data Verification page is displayed. Please read each question carefully and modify the responses as needed. Click the Help icon for additional clarification. And when you are finished, click Next. The information entered on the W-3 information page will be printed on your company's W-3 form. The control number box is optional and can be used to number and identify batches of e-file W-2s on the company W-3. Select the kind of payer box option that describes which kind of payer applies to this company. And in the kind of employer box, select the value from the drop-down which best describes your company. Click the help icon if you are not sure what to select. The help icon will also provide more information on the remaining optional fields. Let's click Next. For security, you can truncate employee social security numbers on all printed employee copies. Make your selection and click Next. The W-2 Preparer window displays. This window is also referred to as the grid. Note that the grid is split into the left side with employee information and the right side contains the wage data. The bar at the top left of the window indicates your progress. Click Next to advance to the next step. As you click Next, the blue shading shows the current focus. To begin, verify that the Social Security number, name, and address for each employee are listed correctly. This information is pulled from the employee's record. Editing occurs as you click the Next button. Let's click Next at the top of the window. Notice that if an employee's information is formatted incorrectly, you will be prompted to return to the grid and correct it. There are two types of error messages. Fatal errors, like the one displayed here, only offer one course of action, to go back and correct before proceeding. Non-fatal errors will display two buttons, go back and correct, or continue without correcting. In this case, an employee zip code is not properly formatted. The row is highlighted to expedite the process. We'll correct the issue and click Next again to continue. The focus shifts to the Box 13 columns. Confirm that each employee's Box 13 information is accurate. 
statutory employee and retirement plan information is pulled from the withholding info tab of each employee's record. Check third-party sick pay if an employee received third-party sick pay at any time during the payroll year. Any changes made on this window will not also update your employee records. Now click Next. And note that the focus has shifted to the right pane of the grid where the wage information is located. For better viewing, you can grab the pane divider bar and drag it to the left or right to resize the panes. You should verify the federal wage information for each employee. And when you are finished, click Next. Then verify the state wage information. The grid will also allow you to manually add columns when needed for Box 12 or Box 14 items. For instructions on manually adding a column to the grid, refer to Knowledge Base Article 10540, How Do I Add Items to the W-2, including Box 12 and Box 14. When you have completed your verification of each employee's wage information, click Next. A new window will display with information about the complete W-2 e-filing service offered by SAGE and Atrix. Let's click Next. The W-2 Printing and Filing Options window is displayed. For complete W-2 e-filing services, which include e-filing all forms to federal and state agencies, select the first option. You can do a one-time e-file for W-2s. To choose which forms you would like to print or e-file, select the second option and check which items to print. For this demonstration, we will select the second option. We will print employee W-2s, all federal forms, and all state forms. Read the comment displayed about the impact of COVID-19 on state agencies and click OK. If you feel you should change to e-file because of the message, you can deselect your current choices and switch to the first option. If you switch, follow the Atrix prompts. Click Next. On the next window, Atrix recaps the cost of one-time e-filing again. Select No. I will continue using my current printing options. Then click Next. Make your selection on the Select the States You Wish to File page and click Next. The Review Data page is displayed. Confirm that everything you selected is listed. You can click the Print button to print a copy of this list for your records. Click Next. The W-2 Payroll Tax Forms window appears, displaying your employees' W-2s ready for printing. Note the yellow progress bar indicating which step is being processed. Use the page navigation aid at the top left of the window to page through and review each W-2 before printing. When you are finished reviewing, click the Print Final button to print the employee W-2s. A prompt will appear informing you that W-2s should be printed on official four-part perforated paper with instructions on the back. Click OK. On the print window, you can click the Page Align button and print a test page to ensure that W-2s will be printed properly. When you are finished, click OK. Then click the Next Step button. Report 2, the Federal W-2 form is displayed. Again, use the Page Navigation Aid at the top left of the window to view each W-2 before printing. When you have completed your review, click the Print Final button. You will be prompted that the Federal W-2 copy should be printed on plain paper. Click OK. Like the employee copies, you can click the Page Align button to ensure the Federal copies are printed correctly. Click OK. When you are finished, click the Next Step button. The Federal W-3 form is displayed. Click the Print Final button to print a Federal W-3. After printing, click the Next Step button. The State W-2 form displays. After reviewing it, click the Print Final button, and then click the Next Step button. If required, annual state reports may display as well. If you see fields shaded in red, you will have to enter required information.
Otherwise, after reviewing, click Print Final. After the state form is printed, click the Next Step button. Now you will be prompted to double check the information on the state report. Click Double Check to review or click Agree to continue. The Employer W-2 form is displayed. These are copies of the employee W-2s which you should keep for your records. Click Print Final to print. After printing, click the Next Step button. After printing all forms and reports, the W-2 History File options will appear, with an overview of your last completed actions in the W-2 wizard. This screen is also displayed if, after printing your W-2s, you find you need to recreate all or some of them. Highlight an action and click the View Details button to view the actions taken and what may need to be addressed. The available actions save you time, so you don't have to start over unless that's what you really want to do. Select Reprint Completed W-2s to reprint a copy of any W-2 filing that has already been processed through the W-2 W-3 wizard. Select E-File or Print Incomplete W-2s to file additional W-2 copies that have not yet been processed. Select Correct Completed W-2s to correct W-2 copies that have previously been processed. For example, if the state W-2 copies have been e-filed and the e-file center has submitted them to the agencies, the Forms viewer will display the state W-2C copies to print out and mail to the appropriate state agencies. Select Start Over to start filing the W-2s from the beginning with new data or to clear the previous history. Select EW2 Password Lookup to update an employee's email address, to send them their electronic W-2 password, or to look up a password. Click the Help button for more details about each of the options. Now let's click Close to complete the W-2 wizard. This concludes our lesson on how to generate and print W-2s and your company W-3s in Sage 50 Accounting. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to print employee W-2s and your company W-3 using the Payroll Tax Form Selector. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning lesson. For information on additional training options, please visit us at sageu.com.